For this project, you're going to need your J crochet hook or 6 millimeter crochet hook, and also tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. The yarn that we're using is sugar and cream, and this one's just white color. And you'll need the Bernat baby coordinates. This color is his jeans. I'm also using Karen Simply Soft, and this color is lavender blue. The decorations I'm using are by Ofre. It's a four piece accessory, and this is the color that I chose. It's a real pretty purple color. We're going to start with the white yarn, and we're going to start with a slip knot. So you're just going to take your white yarn and fold it over to form a loop. And then just take your crochet hook and put it right through the loop. And then you're going to hold it at the base with your middle finger and your thumb. And then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to go ahead and chain nine. So you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, go through that loop for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So for the three month size, you're going to do a chain nine. If you want to make a six month size shoe, you would chain 12. But we're doing the zero to three months, so we did a chain nine. Then you're going to chain one. And then single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So go down into the second chain from the hook and do a single crochet. So you're going to bring up a loop and you have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through those two loops for a single crochet. Now you're going to do single crochet into every stitch and leave the last five stitches for double crochet. So on this smaller size, we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches. So you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. And then in the third stitch to do a single crochet. And then that'll leave the last five. So if you're doing the bigger size, it's the same thing. In the last five, you're going to do a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook this time, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and then go through two. And that's a double crochet. So you're going to do a double crochet into every stitch back across. Now in the last stitch that you have, you're going to do your double crochet and then as we turn the corner, you're going to do three double crochet in that last stitch. So you did one double crochet in that last stitch, but around the corner, we're going to do an additional three double crochet in that same stitch. And as you're working around that corner, you're going to bury that loose yarn end. So you're doing three additional double crochet. And then once you get to the other side, you're going to do one more double crochet in that same stitch. So in this one stitch, we've done five double crochet. And you can see how you're turning the corner. And now we're going to do double crochets back across the previous 
on the opposite side of the um, side that we did double crochets. Now you're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, and do a double crochet, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. Into every stitch you're going to do a double crochet for the next three stitches. Now we're going to do a single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, and now we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So you're going to take your hook, go into the next stitch, under both loops, you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch. So in the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet, you're going to bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, Yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. And then you're going to do a half double crochet in the next two stitches. So every stitch that you did a single crochet in the previous row, you're going to do a half double crochet in this row. And then when you get to your previous row's double crochets, you're going to do a single crochet. So you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to do single crochet all the way to the end all the way around to the other side and then you're just going to keep doing single crochets back to where you did the single crochets on the opposite side because then we're going to do a half double crochet in the last three one two, three, and then we're going to do a slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet that we did. Yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And you can see how you have a little cradle for the foot, the little baby foot. Now we're going to join the second color. Now you're going to take your second color that you're using and you're just going to hook it and bring it through that loop. And then you're going to chain one. And then turn your work over and you can cut the previous white yarn because we're not going to use that anymore. Leave enough to bury into your work. And then you're going to tie a knot on the back. Now you're going to take both loose yarn ends because we're going to bury those loose yarn ends as we work. And you're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch 
At the same time, you're going behind those loose yarn ends. You're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through both of those loops for a single crochet. Then you're going to go into the next stitch. Actually, we're going to do, you're still in the same. You did a single crochet. You're going to do one more chain one. Yarn over and go through the loop for a chain one. So now you have a single crochet and then a chain one on top. So that's actually a chain two. And that's your first half double crochet. So we're going to do a half double crochet all the way around. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, go behind those two loose yarn ends, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. And we're going to do a half double crochet all the way around, yarn over, go into the next stitch, go behind those loose yarn ends, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three. And you're just going to keep doing half double crochet all the way around. And then once you've buried those loose yarn ends enough, you can keep burying them if you want, or you can cut them at any time. I'm going to bury them just a little bit more. Okay, this will be my last one, and then I'll go ahead and just cut them. So now I can just take my scissors and cut those two loose yarn ends. And then you just keep doing your half double crochet all the way around. And then we're going to do a slip stitch to that first half double crochet that we did. So you're going to go into that top stitch of that first half double crochet. And then you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then your work has a nice decoration around it. Now we're going to do the back around the ankle. So you're going to slip stitch over. So we're going to slip stitch in the next three stitches on the smaller one. So go into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and you're going to do that for the next three stitches. And then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to turn your work and then you're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch yarn over. Go into the next stitch over get in there bring up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over and go through two yarn over and go through two and you're going to yarn over go into the next stitch bring up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over and go through two yarn over and go through two and you're going to yarn over go into the next stitch 
bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two, and you're just going to keep doing double crochets until you're equal with the opposite side for the back. And then you're going to go ahead and finish off. So you yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through that loop and bring enough yarn through to bury into your work. And then you have your back made. Now I'm going to show you how to do the front. Okay, so now you're going to count over three stitches from the back. One, two, three. You're going to in the fourth stitch over, so one, two, three, four, you're going to put your crochet hook through that stitch and take your yarn and join it. So just hook that yarn and bring it through and then chain one And then you're going to tie a knot now you're going to do a single you're going to bury the loose yarn in as you work and you're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch so bring up a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and go through both for a single crochet and then you're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch over and then we're going to do a decrease stitch. So you're going to go into the next stitch behind that loose yarn in, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, go into the next stitch, go behind that loose yarn in, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease. And then we're going to do another decrease. So you go into the next stitch behind that loose yarn in, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, go behind the loose yarn in, bring up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease, and then we're going to do, see we have one, two, three, four, so now we're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch, so you go behind that loose yarn in, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet, then you go into the next stitch, go behind that loose yarn in, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to go into the next stitch, behind that loose yarn in, bring up a loop, unless you've already buried your loose yarn in, then don't worry about it, or you can go ahead and cut it and get out of your way. But you're going to bring that yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch, and then you're going to chain one and then turn. I'm going to go ahead and cut my loose yarn in now. That just buries it nicely so your work looks neater. So now I'm just going to do decreases. So I'm going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease, and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch, bring the yarn through both loops on the hook, and then you're going to finish off yarn over and just pull enough yarn through. I like to bring enough yarn to bury it in the work and make it look nice. No one wants shoes with yarn strands hanging out all over it. So now you finished the front. Let's see if I have a loose yarn in there. Go ahead and cut that and make it look a little neater.
you have these cute little four for the toes, and then you have the back. So now I'm going to go ahead and sew on the front. We'll bury our loose yarn ends in a minute. So now I'm going to sew on the little accessory. So you can get your little accessory. And then you need your sewing needle and white thread. And then come back and I'll show you how to sew on your accessory. So I have my needle, sewing needle, and white thread. So the sewing needle is different from your tapestry needle. So you want your sewing needle, and you're going to take on the inside, and then just go in with your sewing needle and come out the center of your accessory. And there is a little sticky tab that you're going to go through and that just helps to keep it nice and secure and just make sure you don't get yourself with your finger. And then I don't want to come through the ribbon so I'm going to move the ribbon aside as I come out. So I come right through the center and leave enough on the other side to tie your knot. So then you're just going to go right back through. And then you can't even tell that you're sewing it on. So go ahead and sew it on. Make sure it's nice and secure so it won't fall off. And then come back and I'll show you how to do the back ankle straps. So this is how it looks on the front. It's sewed on nicely and looks really cute. Now I'm going to go on the back of the shoe and I'm going to join the side of the first that double crochet that we did. Just take my crochet hook at the top and I'm going to join my purple color that I have and I'm just going to hook the yarn and bring it through and leave enough yarn for tying your knot and burying your loose yarn in. You're going to chain one and then just tie a knot and then you're going to do a single crochet in the same stitch And then you're going to go into the next stitch along the side of the strap and do another single crochet. And then you're going to chain one and then turn and then do a single crochet into the next stitch over. And then you're going to chain one, turn, and then do a single crochet into the next stitch. And then chain one and turn. So we're creating our strap that's going to go across and join on the opposite side. And you're just going to keep doing your single crochets along this strap chain one and turn and then do a single crochet in the next stitch and then you're just going to keep doing that until your strap is big enough to go across and another way that you can do it too is you can go right across to the other side just like on this one and then join on the opposite side with a little button
So you can do that way also, but I'm going to do the strap across. So I'm going to go ahead and do two more rows. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and join to the opposite side. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and finish off. So yarn over and pull enough yarn through for sewing. Now you're going to get your tapestry needle and put it on that loose yarn end that you had for sewing and you're going to bring your strap down to the front the opposite side and then to that stitch here's the front of the shoe you're going to go into that first stitch there and then just sew the strap in place You can see how it crosses over. And then you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side and strap that over and then come back and we'll see the finished product. After you have your straps sewn on, you're going to want to bury all of your loose yarn ends. So just take your tapestry needle and take any loose yarn end and just kind of weave it through the work. It keeps your um, project staying together nicely and also it just looks neater than having a bunch of loose yarn ends hanging out. So go ahead and bury all your loose yarn ends and then come back. Now you should have your cute little booties all done. Just wanted to show you the booties again and the difference. These are the six month size and then these are the zero to three months size and you can see the size difference so the only difference was I started with 12 a chain of 12 with the bigger size and then a chain of 9 with the smaller size and on these I have the same color strap that goes and buttons and all I did was just do a chain of four and then slip stitch a little loop on the end of the strap. And then the button, you just want to make sure you sew the button on so it doesn't fall off and is a choking hazard. So that's why I did two options, one like this with no button and all you have is just the design, but just make sure you sew it on really well. Same thing with the button. Make sure it's sewn on really well. And then you can just strap it across the ankle. And this one was a little big, so this one is more for like a six month, maybe three to six month size. And then this one will fit the zero to three month size. So that's one thing about the little booties is I wanted to make one to make sure it stays on the foot. 
and these will stay on nicely. Also, I just wanted to show you on this one I did it right, the buttons on the outside, and then this one I accidentally put the button on the inside. So if you make this style, just make sure you put the button on the outside, unless you like it with the button on the inside. 